We're live here at Lock and Dam 13. You can see the lock gates are closed. They have been for weeks, leaving hundreds of thousands of tons of cargo stuck on the river. The past three weeks to four weeks, we've probably lost over $100,000 in lost revenue. We'll probably lose another 100 to 150,000 before this is said and done. This port operator has been shut down for weeks, struggling to make payroll, waiting for the river to stop flooding. But we have to keep our employees busy, keep them paid. It's not their fault that this river system has been like this. Nearly 70 barges are lined up, waiting to unload. Carrying cargo like fertilizer, grain, and steel products. Customers are having to get their products from other sources. It's costing them more money by not being able to use the river. Last time we got this high was back in 90, which was a little bit higher. What looks like a landfill is actually floating debris inside the lock. When water covers equipment used to open the gates, they're shut down. We don't want to operate because not only can we get water inside of our hydraulic cylinders and uh, or other equipment. We don't want any kind of logs to get in there and jam up and can actually break the equipment. It's just not right here. It is from Tulsa all the way down to where the white dumps into the Mississippi. The whole river system is shut down. The floods could cost businesses millions of dollars. Right now, we don't know exactly when these gates will reopen. Live in Barling, Brett Rains, 4029 News. All right, thank you, Brett. Well, the towboat operators tell us it could be another four to six weeks before they're able to ship cargo up and down the river. And they say after the locks reopen, the river has to be flowing at a safe level to operate their boats.